بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما Now in this video we will try to understand the different types of threads. Now mainly there are three types of threads uh, what I have classified here. The first one is physical threads which are relating to some uh, some kind of fire or earthquake kind of things. Internal threads which are coming from internal within the same network and the external threads which are coming outside the network. Now physical threads uh, majorly deals with uh, different options like we have hardware based threads now in the hardware based threads uh, it it can be like physical damage to your networking devices like servers routers switches or it can be any any other devices like a uh, cable plant or maybe to the end devices or the or the computers now or it can be relating to some electrical threads which are majorly dealing with all the electrical components Uh, and also it can be relating to some maintenance based threads now maintenance is relating to like uh, your handling poor handling of the electronic components or maybe you don't have the essential spare parts like you you got some uh, issue with the router you you got some uh, physical damage to the router maybe it's it's not booting up we need to make sure that we do have some additional uh, spare router in in the network so that i can replace it with a with a router where i i do have a backup of this config and i can replace and make sure that the network is up and running so the, these are typically the physical threats which is like like damage to the to the networking devices or maybe some related electronic related kind of threats or maybe relating to maintenance now internal threads are nothing but the threads from the users sitting inside your network maybe the employees like like one example is the sales user is trying to access some database from the finance servers which is strictly not allowed but the user is trying to do that so where user user of either he can physically steal or damage the data or maybe he can he can just go log into the computer and he can delete all the database and um, and probably user user actually here knows already the network and the physical access and, and also he has complete knowledge of the internal network as he is inside as a as is an employee working in the company now there are some some kind of uh, mitigations or the counter measures we can use to detect and prevent like using some physical security by applying some physical locks and ensuring that no one like i don't want any of the sales users to enter into my data center or or maybe a rack room and i don't want him to log into any of the devices and strictly you know you you just allow only the it department people to get into the get get access to specific devices now physical security or adding some cameras surveillance cameras for monitoring also id access policies like a uh, group of users can only uh, can use their id cards or id access for access to specific resources to what they are limited for and also we need to add some uh, ensure that we 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 apply some kind of data loss prevention mechanisms like uh, having a backup of the data or or if someone if a user is trying to delete so we we just say that you don't have permissions to delete that so it's just like applying some permissions to the data where Uh, no one can actually delete that information now this this can this is very easy you know in, in internal threads it's very easy like a user carrying his pen drive or pen drive where he is trying to access some information from the company or maybe he is uploading some files on the internet to his uh, gmail account or any any other personal email account where he is actually sharing that particular database with with the outside users now the threads can be internal and also the threats can be external also so mostly like generally we call hackers hackers are nothing but a user uh, sitting on the internet and he is trying to get get into your network uh, maybe he is trying to get access to your network so that he can get some information of your network or maybe he is trying to introduce some kind of attack where his intention is to make sure that your network is down or send some kind of malicious traffic 
which can impact the performance of your network or or maybe the devices or maybe attacker is uh, attacker is sending some continuous request to the to the server making your network down or the server down by using some general log service attacks so these are the three different uh, common threats you can have like uh, the first one is the physical threats or it can be from the internal internal threats or it can be external threats and the most common threats you will see in most of the offices like the, the unauthorized users are trying to access the network or maybe they are they're doing some alteration alteration or modifying the information or tapping the information or maybe attack attack maybe you know in the office generally the people leak the information through some kind of hard copies or through some storage medias or even it can happen due to some carelessness so these are all just a list of uh, possible or uh, common threats which generally uh, more common in most of the offices now we, we, we need to apply some kind of mitigation for these this different security threats now this this mitigation or the solution can be either uh, proactive or reactive now proactive means actually before the attack happens in your network or before that particular uh, threat occurs we we are just applying some security measures like uh, like maybe you are configuring some asa firewall or any kind of firewall in your network uh, ensuring that any traffic which is coming from the internet uh, it, it we will configure some policies on the on this firewall and if any unknown traffic is coming or any unauthorized traffic is coming into into my network that should be denied and also i want to restrict the user should be able to access specific uh, specific traffic on the internet so we can control the flow of traffic between the lan and on the internet by using some kind of dedicated devices like firewalls uh, where it will do all, all the things or and other thing is like you can also configure some of the devices like uh, some kind of IPS intrusion prevention system uh, devices or maybe you can configure some policies on the firewall so if it detects any kind of malicious traffic and I can I can tell my IPS device or the firewall to monitor that traffic and if it finds any kind of suspicious traffic I want that particular traffic should be dropped automatically so that's what like reactive uh, reactive is like when when actually that attack happens now again there are different possible solutions we'll talk about later on as we go ahead with the implementations but generally uh, if you if you want to apply imp some kind of mitigation over some kind of threats so we need to understand what are the different possible vulnerabilities and the attacks and we need to figure out what the different tools which will be available in the market uh, which can provide or secure your networks from those attacks and also make sure that you are using some some kind of updated security solutions like like you you're using some firewalls but nowadays we have we are using next generation firewalls which supports more advanced features so make sure that you're using some up-to-date security solutions in the market and figure out who is providing uh, better solutions based on that you can secure your network and also make sure that you are the, the security solutions whatever you apply it has to integrate as per the uh, security architecture because upon any any kind of attack detection or any kind of infected endpoint if it detects in the network uh, immediately it has to generate an alerts and take the action immediately 